Hey guys, Joe here again. Uh, I just want to show you another project of mine that I've been working on. Uh, I have been working on a moped uh, for myself type of thing just to have some fun with. And uh, I made myself my own axle. Um, so basically I just want to share with you guys on how I did that. And uh, instead of using the pillow block bearings, uh, I basically used my own stuff. Uh, on my pusher power trailer that I had on my last couple of videos, I uh, I used those pillow block bearings. They're okay. Everything works fine with that. I didn't know that, uh, like I'm not a welder by trade by any means, but I, I did use, uh, I did weld basically to cast iron and it, that doesn't uh, stick well at all. So, and even with, you know, pillow block bearings, even drilling the two holes that it usually has with one bearing, it didn't really work out as well. Like, it needs to be absolutely perfect because if things are not in line, the chain's going to fall off and it's everything's going to go sour from there. So I just thought, okay, well, what the heck, I'll just, I'll make my L, myself a an axle and by just using some parts again from Princess Auto and it uh, worked out really well. So um, this one that I made um, it, earlier, I had to take it out because I actually had to make it smaller. So I'm going to build another one from scratch. But generally speaking, how it works, it works uh, pretty easy. Um, some of the things I got from Princess Auto are uh, basically uh, pitting, uh, fitting pipe. And that's this here. They're two inch uh, galvanized steel pipe. And uh, what else I got? I got two uh, bearings here. They're about two inch bearings. And I got a key stock here and a shaft, a one inch shaft. So with all these parts, this is how I made this. And uh, that's basically how I made my little axle for my moped. Uh, just to show you guys how I did that again, these, um, these, basically these pit fittings of mine, okay, these, these work out really well. Um, they fit the bearings absolutely perfect. I mean, if you put bearings inside here, there's like no play, barely, and they fit good, pretty good and snug inside there. And when you flip this over like that, you can see that it, here, it's all tapered. So, I mean, it, it, it really, it holds it in place really well. You know the bearings are not going to move anywhere, and it's going to do its job just right. So with that in mind, I'm really happy with that. I mean, yeah, if you look here at these two-inch galvanized pipe fittings, basically, that's what it looks like. That's what this piece compared to here. You can see that I did cut off here and maybe a little bit in the center and more or less welded into place. But before I did that, I, uh, I took these bearings and put it on the shaft, right? And if you take your keyway here and you put it inside, now, and weld this keyway into place, uh, and you match it up right, just right, I mean, these bearings are not going to move at all. Like, they're going to be really stable inside there. So that's generally what I have. The keyway is inside here, and then I put these both hooked up together, and it just fit perfectly. And nothing moves in there. It's just perfect. So generally speaking, yeah, once that's connected, I welded everything around, and uh, this whole bearing doesn't move side to side at all. Like, it's great. So I'm not going to use this one anymore because, I mean, I, I did cut it off here, but uh, it works generally really well. So, but uh, another thing that I used on on this axle is basically I put a little nipple from the old pillow block bearings. They had this little grease nipple that, that you can use, and all I did was tapped it in place and basically filled all this with grease inside. So that that really helped the bearings um, live a lot longer. So. Uh, Price-wise, I mean, this shaft was about $48, and this was nothing. I think this keyway thing is about, it's it's one quarter by, I think, 12 inches, I believe, something in that area. But yeah, it was just a couple of bucks. The bearings were, I think, maybe, I think, eight bucks a pop. This is $4.50 or something like that. So, But uh, generally speaking, everything was really good. And if I even place the camera here like so, I mean, it does. It works really well. Like even just taking it. 
and this whole part, this here, is welded to wherever you want it to go and just spinning it really works really good like I'm really happy the pillow block bearings again I mean they were fine but if something's not lined up right exactly then you know you're gonna have a world of trouble always your chain falling off and it's a big pain in the rear end so but just want to show everybody how I made my own so worked out really well price was a little bit yeah a little higher right but the shaft, more or less, I mean, I got three feet long of this stuff, so I mean, I can use it for other projects still as well. But this particularly, I, I believe, would work wicked for go-karts, little mopeds, and wh whoever kind of has an idea, instead of using pillow blocks, and they want to weld this into place, I, I highly recommend it. So, But anyways, guys, take it easy, and hope this helps anybody. Take care. Bye. All right, guys. So uh, this is almost the uh, the finished deal here. As you can see, I got the two pipes in there. I did cut the center um, all off and the part of it off here. So it's really close together and that's what I need. Um, if I pull it apart, you can actually see what, what's going on inside. So I take that. And as you can see, there's the two bearings. These actually kind of hold it straight as well. There's that uh, key inside there. I'm going to be welding that closed shut. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's more or less how everything kind of works. Basically put these uh, uh, two inch pipe in there, fittings, and uh, the whole deal is done. So, ta-da!